Yeah, I am proud of the 100% green commitment that United made uh, last December and believe that we are the leading uh, global airline in terms of our commitment to sustainability and particularly to climate change. It's a personal commitment to mine. And when we made a 100% green commitment, it is unique amongst not only airlines, but largely amongst companies around the world. Uh, because what we committed to is we will get to 100% green without using traditional carbon offsets. There are large parts of the economy that are going to be hard to decarbonize. Uh, aviation is one of those, steel, concrete, uh, agriculture, uh, a number of examples of industries that are going to be hard to completely decarbonize. But it's important that we get to zero and that we get there uh, in a way that can actually scale to solve the entire global problem. So at United, uh, we're focused on sustainable aviation fuels as pillar one for us. Uh, we represent over 50% of the world's commitment to sustainable aviation fuels. And we're, we've partnered with other companies to create investment uh, and to drive investment into the sustainable aviation fuel industry so that we can scale it up uh, and make it large. A second is R&D investments. Uh, we're the first large global airline uh, to invest in electric aviation and uh, and aircraft uh, flying. And then the third one, which I think is probably the most important for the entire globe, is carbon sequestration. Uh, carbon sequestration is taking carbon out of the atmosphere or from some other source uh, and pumping it underground where it can be stored for tens of millions of years permanently. Uh, it permanently removes carbon for the atmosphere. And I've been following the science on climate change for at least 30 years uh, and for at least 20 years. Uh, have believed that the only way we're going to get the globe to zero is through some form of carbon sequestration. And so we're a partner with Occidental and 1.5 in the world's largest uh, carbon sequestration plant. It's really to get this technology moving and to start driving economies of scale. Um, and it's different from a traditional carbon offset program, which are mostly about planting trees. Uh, and the big difference is, uh, one, it's real. Some of those traditional offset programs um, are things that we're going to happen anyway. But more importantly, we produce 4,000 times as many emissions today as we did in the pre-industrial era. There's simply not space on the planet to plant 4,000 times as many trees. And when essentially every company in the world that commits to net zero is doing it by buying carbon offsets, i.e. planting trees, we simply can't solve the problem because uh, there's just not room on the planet to plant 4,000 times as many trees. And so at United, focusing on real solutions, uh, sustainable fuels, electric aircraft, and carbon sequestration is really how we're trying not only to make a difference at United, but also to change the conversation so that the whole globe can find real solutions to make a real difference uh, and defeat what is the biggest challenge that faces our generation.